majority of this bloke on the show for so long, 122 games he played at Collingwood. He was already an established superstar over in South Australia, premiership player for the Pies, one of the most important people in footy, and I say that with hand on heart. Please make him welcome. Craig Kelly, everybody. Hello, Craig. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, mate. No, I, 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 be nice. I won't shake. No, I won't be shake nice. your hand. I'll just, I just wanted to say sincerely on behalf of everyone. We are so happy to hear that you are here. We have been <laughs> wait. Can't believe that you're on the show. Yep. Um, I, I've just got to pinch myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. In case you don't know what we're talking about, the original and the best, the yeah, one and only. Is. Hey, we'll get Ned, to that. we always start here because um, there's a lot of people who may not. Be old enough to remember you playing for you. And you're an absolute powerhouse to Colin when you came over. Yeah. All, humility, all humility aside, describe yourself as a player. Well, I had hair, which helped. Well, that helped. <laughs> now, tell us what you... Tell I, was, us. I was pretty basic. I was coached by Neil Barman in Adelaide at Nord and then came over. And I was, came over late as a 23-year-old? Yeah, well, I, I, I got drafted in the first draft, so you had three years to come over. Right. And, and I, I came over in the end of the second. And I, I had a few issues. Slipped uh, straight I, into the key, key position. They put me forward first, Lee did. And yep. then this is when I retired with Alan Richardson. That was a very emotional day. Was it but always going to be Collingwood, Craig? Or other clubs interested? Uh, Fitzroy were interested, but I, I, and I didn't know I was going to get picked up until... Basically, the draft. That was the first draft in 86. Okay. And, and um, yeah, I don't know where I came, 27th yeah. or something? Yeah, I'd probably I'd add about 50 onto that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 27, <laughs> you see? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, that's pretty good. What right. issues did you? You said oh, you had, had some issues. issues. Well, what well, sort of issues? When I went over the white line, I... Oh. I had some problems. You lost ah, well, I'm, some problems I'm, I'm sure they won't come up at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, let's start right at the start. Let's you do it. Issues, let's the do first it. time we saw it. made your debut in an exhibition game in Toronto, Craig. Yeah. Oh, well, and you, decided, oh, you, decided, you, decided, you decided to introduce yourself to the AFL world by um, taking out Dermot Brereton. Uh, well, that was your, this is what well, this is your yeah. first game. Your first well, game. that was in uh, yeah in Toronto. Oh, we we played in step, first game was played in Miami. Look, then we gone. went up. Well, Shorey came up to me. Lee said the night before you're going to play my second game for Collingwood. Overseas, you're going to play against Dermot on Dermot. And Shorey came up to me and said. Got really a couple of choices here. He's either going to knock you out, or you've got to do something to yeah. sort him out. Get on the front. So I sort of swung, missed the ball, and hit him on the chin, and he, and he went off. Accidents happen. They do happen. And how, how did, I, I was I was happy. How did how did Dermot respond? Uh, he, I don't think he was that happy, but he was a bit groggy, so he went off. Right. <laughs> he wasn't the only one who went off either, though, because oh, yeah. What happened? You you were living in fear. At this yes. stage, uh, yes. uh, Tell us what you did. Uh, yeah. Well, that's not really well. Oh, I'll tell you. Did what? You, you did. pretended that you'd sprained your ankle. I might have. And you went off because you didn't want to take the field because you knew he was going to bash you. I might have. <laughs> he knew he was coming I might back have, on. I might have looked over and he was coming back on, <laughs> and I thought it'd be sensible for me to get off. So I, I might have accidentally rolled my ankle. And go, but I was still moving all right that but, night. So you did Thomas roll your ankle. You did, or not accident? really? Not exactly. really. <laughs> <laughs> For the next ten years, he tried to square up. So I've got a lot of scars on my head um, with him trying to whack me. You, you went into a key position player one as two, a one key. Or two. One or two. Uh, we're on telly, telly guys. <laughs> <laughs> you, you went into. You went into a key position straight away. There's mm. some suggestion that you were undersized for for a, a key position. Oh. Oh, uh, I was 6'2", I, was I thought that's All right, okay. don't get defensive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you, did, you did play small, though, didn't you? <laughs> no, it's a big, long arms. <laughs> I don't think so. But uh, someone who was enamoured by your physique right from the get-go oh, yes. was a great Don Scott. Listen to this. He pumps a long kick to Kelly. What a magnificent build he's got. Big shoulders, big chest and tapers to the hips. <laughs> <laughs> Which is exactly how I describe myself on my Tinder profile. <laughs> I, I can report the days of tapering in here. Yeah, they're gone. Long gone, <laughs> I reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, um, thanks, mate. No, sure. <laughs> hey, um, the 1990 print, you're part of you know, one of the great moments in Collingwood's history, and they don't do it. This was massive. It was the oh, second year, your second year at the club. Did you get a sense, Ned? A great moment for you on pants at the end of your vote, mate, Chris. So did you get a sense in your first year? that this was within your grasp that quickly? Uh, we went to the grand final as a team at the end of 80, to watch the 89 grand final, which was obviously one of the great grand finals. And um, no, I reckon it just kept building and building. And, and 
Right. We had a bit of luck. I mean, yeah, when, yeah, when yeah, West yeah, Coast, yeah. Uh, we had the draw and we came back. Once we got over that, I, I, everyone thought that, all the teams thought that um, we could go the way because we just we had a fair bit of mojo going after that. And um, no, it, oh, it, was, it was an amazing People time. People forget pretty... how big that was, though, don't they? Really? Oh, well, breaking of a drought, 32 the, years. The, 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 vision and what happened afterwards, if you tried to do it, it was, it was out of control. Well, well I've got some vision of that, and let's just say there were no behavioural awareness officers no. around <laughs> at this point, as the Collingwood fans erupt. <laughs> here, here they are in what I consider to be a fleet of stolen vehicles. <laughs> have a look at this, now have a look at this couple coming up here, and Pash, that, <laughs> that I believe, have a look, there they go, and I, I have it on good authority, that's e e Eddie and Carla on there. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the, uh, the starting point yeah. it was amazing. when it all changed. Try, trying to get from the MCG to Victoria Park, it took us like two hours, and then we had an escort to get into the ground. It was like the Beatles arrived. Oh, it no, it was amazing. It was it incredible. Really was, it, was, it was a fair, fairly yeah. solid couple of days. It was, I imagine. <laughs> Eddie, of course, before he became president uh, of Collingwood, was actually just a... a passionate supporter and also read, passionate. reading yeah. the news for Channel 10. Correct. Oh. So, why, is it true that in the lead up a couple of weeks out of the grand final, mm. you made, he made an agreement with you that if you won the flag, mm. that he would get you to read the news on, the, on Channel 10? We did spend a bit of time together as a group, a tight little group on Saturday nights after games, and Ed was very much part yep. of that group. So, he came up with the idea that early in the finals, <laughs> that if we won, won the grand final, we would go and read the news. <laughs> so on Channel 10, we really didn't think about it that much. <laughs> so we I said, love yeah, those we're in, we're done. Yeah. So got, and we've forgotten about it till the Monday. And then he asked you when you said... And you were no, going, he rang up. Well, he didn't ring, he didn't have mobile phones, and he just turned up. He said, right, we're off, we're reading the news. <laughs> Get in the chopper, at, in a chopper, never been in a chopper before. There's yeah. Mullane, myself. Um, Dakes Christian. and and Chris O. Chris O. Yeah. That was like a that was his introduction to oh, media. He never, loved never, it. Never, never, never been in a chopper and now you own one. So. Never, <laughs> <laughs> and what? You, and you go to the and studio. And we went to Nana Wadding because it was up in, in the, wow. the studio well, Nana Wadding, and off, off we went. And um, sure. I'm not sure what the quality of the news read was like. Well, let's <laughs> let's let everyone judge for themselves. Uh, <laughs> Craig, this is you. You're reading the Channel 10 Sport News on the Monday or the Tuesday. Have a look. Right, Craig, uh, fantastic effort. How are you feeling today? Thanks, Eddie. Yeah, fantastic. Bit tired, but uh, really good. Well, there was a few rough incidents out there on Saturday, wasn't it? Yes, yes. AFL investigation officer Bob Stewart will view a videotape of various various incidents during Saturday's grand final. <laughs> it's unlikely the investigation will be completed until Collingwood and Essendon players return home after their match in London. Okay, now that's what I call self-reporting. <laughs> footage of you punching guys in the head yes, and, and, in this final. And how bad was the shirt? Uh, <laughs> well, not, but not, the, not yeah. as bad as the throat of uh, Rob Gell with the weather, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Now, that, uh, great seeing a young Eddie McGuire applying his trade there. That was the only time you used Ed, did you? You pulled rank. You lost your dog? Did you lose your dog? Uh, you rang up uh, Ed and you yeah, said, mate, yes, you yes. need to put this out. And he did a news story based around finding Would, your dog. True yeah, thoughts? true. There was, there was a, I lost the dog and I needed to get it back, obviously. And I, I knew it had been stolen, so I said, Ed, can we put a news bulletin there on the news? <laughs> what? So he, he read out, he got Lee Matthews was coach of the week, so I said, Lee, just, just tell everyone that Jazzy's gone missing. <laughs> and everyone, anyone knows where Jazzy is, little boxer, could you please return it to, to me? Anyway, I got a phone call, she'd been stolen and gone to Broadmeadows. So we had to go all the way out to Broadmeadows. I picked her up and brought her home, and um, Eddie did a... Did Who a, had the dog? A Collingwood supporter, luckily. <laughs> And I got the dog back. It wasn't a sniffer dog. And you got it back. And you got it back. And, 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 and Ed did a story on the two of us coming back together, and he won an award for that. And I'm sure he's still got the. He business. probably set up the he pinch probably... in the first place. <laughs> he was probably behind. It's probably one of his old mates from the neighbourhood. <laughs> hey, um, were you always? You came over. I wonder whether you, this was how you played your footy over in South Australia. This kind of robust, Royal wholehearted, or, or whether when you got to Collingwood. <laughs> Well, robust is one way of putting it. Um, oh. you've kind of borderline like you criminals, to... another. Earn <laughs> your stripes and kind of... Was this the way you played your footy already? <laughs> That's my <laughs> favourite. Um, oh, this is not good. No, this is not good. <laughs> oh, don't go the slow mo. Okay. I'm going to go the slow mo. So, did, you, did you always play like that? What did you change? You have to change to stay. No, I actually did that in Adelaide. Okay. And I got 
I, my, I got suspended for four weeks in Adelaide and I couldn't play the first two weeks when I got here okay. for a similar thing like that. So it's not the way you should behave, Sam, that, that, these days. No, that no, last one, that last one though, Craig, with, was, the, I had some ben, issues. with Ben Doolan, that was significant not only on the field yeah, but off the field off the as field. well. Why? That was my wife's first time to a football game and she was her, her family is a very it's rugby a, orientated it's like a first date so it's first dates at victoria with, with, with Park. your now wife and right. i went after the game had my showers a bit laid out and i said where's my wife moo meredith and she'd gone and the and the, the other girl said she left after you hit ben and, <laughs> and i found out she'd gone home rang she, her mum rang rang her and said um you sure you want to marry him so she was in tears, and it wasn't, it wasn't good, Sam. And you know, you know Meredith, she's a lovely I lovely do, lady. and she, yeah, she, she, I do she know her, and, and uh, she made a very poor decision. <laughs> Um, we, need, we need to point out that we actually uh, agreed to have you on the show a long time ago. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, two, yeah, months two months ago, you, you said you'd come on this particular oh, week. great week. So <laughs> it, it just so happens that this is the week that Ben Stratton's oh, yeah. decided to do what he's done. Very and, powerful, you guys. Well, it, well it's, we had nothing to do with that. But it, everybody in football went straight back to you, didn't they? Because yeah. you were the first, and you had heaps, didn't you? There's David. In one game, you got Minch. Ablett, who's clearly responding to you, doing a bit of pinching work here. Billy Brownless wasn't all that happy with you. He was you on your to... books at the time, wasn't he? Yeah, you managed him. Start... <laughs> yeah, I started looking after And Billy Jason Dunstall, he very was... Very unhappy. Jay still... He and I play a lot of golf together now, and he still was... He's still very unhappy with me. Right? He's never been this road. Right? No. Look, where did the what... pinching start? When did you When did uh, you think this was a tactic you could employ? Well, it was Lee's last year, and we were struggling. He angry. He got angry there, and then... <laughs> <laughs> And then we'd lost six or so in a row and we had a one of those team meetings all sit around and sort of talk to each other and say, and, and Severia Rocker said, you've lost your edge, you're not a mongrel anymore, you've got to become a mongrel. So I went out in the match practice at training and started pinching him. free, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I thought, geez, I need some capsicum a spray. <laughs> under, under, that's under. annoying. And I, was, I started working, I thought I'll try this. This weekend, so Menchie didn't touch me, and I coached Menchie at Mansfield a number of years later. And he came out the next day, back, black and blue, and I got reported. Uh, I went to Billy and was looking after Billy, and he pinched him a little bit, and he said, Ned, what are you doing? We're sort of mates. And I said, I, I just yeah, got a pinch. You're managing him at the time. <laughs> You're managing, you're managing Billy at the time as if stealing 20% from him wasn't enough. You're the kid. And then, and then I went to Ablett and, you yeah, know, there was an article this week where he wasn't happy with me. I mean, I'm not really concerned yeah. about what Gary thinks about me, but... Uh, Why did you stop? And then, then you pinch Dunstall. Now, who did you have the week after that? <sighs> Tony Lockett. And did you pinch him? I didn't get anywhere near him. <laughs> More to talk to you about. Can you stick around? You'll stick around for another break. Yeah, yeah. Stick around. Oh, he's going to stick around. There's heaps more to get. Through. Well